Well, hello, Bishop Wooden here. I'm excited about tonight. I pray that all is well with you. I want to talk to you tonight about trusting God. Now listen, my friends. The quickest way for Satan to gain victory in your life is to get you to doubt God, to doubt his management skills, to doubt his ability to love us and to take care of us, to doubt that he's there, that he's with you, and that whatever you're dealing with right now, that it is going to work for your good. I'm here to declare that Satan means it for evil, but God means it for good. And if the devil can get you to doubt God's love, God's care, the Lord's management style, the Lord's presence, Doubt the fact that God is in control of your life. And you know I'm talking about the God of the Bible. You know he's the only God there is. If Satan can get you to doubt him, then the devil can get you to fail because you're going to turn away from the God of the Bible. And anytime you turn away from the Lord, you turn to failure. Now, I've been busy and uh, I'm sure you've noticed that we were in Charlotte on yesterday declaring that the Church of God in Christ and the Ames Convention is coming to Charlotte, North Carolina next year. We're excited about that because, listen, the Church of God in Christ values and HB2 values are the same. We believe that the ladies belong in the ladies rooms, ladies locker rooms, and ladies changing rooms, and that men belong in men's rooms, men's changing rooms, men's locker rooms. You know, it's almost ridiculous, but when we are in a day where we're trying to destroy terms, destroy our values, destroy our culture, get rid of the Bible, get to the point where people don't want to be referred to as male and female. I was told the other day on certain campuses and certain schools and certain settings that they're going to drop terms like male and female and just call students pupils. Well, my friends, God made the human race and he made them male and female. And I agree with God. Also, as I close, I want, to, I want you to go out there. We, re, we are releasing today. Yes, today. Hot off the press. Even part four of my four-part message as I took the sermon that the Reverend William Barber gave uh, when he spoke at the DNC. And my God, did Reverend Barber bring the people to their feet. They shouted. They got happy. They clapped. They applauded. I mean, he gave them red meat. The only thing about the things that he had to say, and he said them artfully and powerfully and impactfully. But the truth is, when you take it and you dissect it and you put it on, you put it on paper, you see that the good reverend, uh, a mighty, mighty man, but he was wrong. And you can't use revival and LGBTQ rights in the same sentence. Never seen anything like that before in my life. So part one, two. Three, and yes, four will be available uh, for you to watch out there in uh, 15 to 20 minute segments. They're not very long, and you will see where I do not attack anything personally about uh, this man. I, I actually I admire him. I, I admire his, uh, his grit and his wit, and he has done much good. But I have profound, uh, diff we have profound differences also, and I am talking about them. And uh, I'm not talking about anything, any rumor or any gossip or anything that's, that was said in the dark or any dark rumor I've heard about the, uh, this man. To be honest with you, I haven't heard any. As far as I'm concerned, all I know is he's a great guy. But I'm talking about a speech that he gave publicly, that they, they, they're his words. He said it for the world to hear. And anything that's in public is fair game. And I don't have to agree with him. And by the way, I do not. So I, I talk about it. And, uh, and so I want you to watch it and, and, and see if uh, I'm correct or incorrect. I believe that the Bible is right and that every preacher who quotes scripture, every preacher who incorporates the Bible, you have to do it in context and you have to do it and be biblically correct and sound. So tonight I'm hanging out 
at the upper room, church of God in Christ, with the finest saints in the world. We're going to study the Bible together, and we're going to leave here trusting and believing God. I'll see you tonight.